Kimberly Ray, and welcome to another episode of Sustainable Seafood Experience. Today, we're going to talk about kelp, or seaweed as some people call it, and it actually grows two feet per day, almost fast enough to watch it grow. I'm standing in front of the Ocean Harvest today, which is actually a vessel here in Santa Barbara that goes out to our Channel Islands to harvest the kelp in order to feed the abalones that we have in the farms out here, which actually feeds us. Now this actually provides a home for small and large animals. Isn't that amazing? It grows in huge underwater forest. It makes a home for so many different species of animals from the very small to the very large. Now you may think the only purpose for this to grow so fast is to provide a home for all the animals and sea creatures out there or getting stuck on the bottom of your boat. But wait, there's more. There's something you need to know. This is actually a form of algae. And this alga is found in our everyday products, such as thickening agent in ice cream, salad dressing, toothpaste, and yes, even makeup. It can also be found as a nutritional additive in dog food. Kelp can easily be harvested because the tops of the forest form large canopies, but the bottom of the forest stays intact by something called a holdfast for regrowth. Now we could go out and harvest as much seaweed as we can get, but that's not conservation or preservation. Now if we think of farming seaweed, that brings up a whole entirely different mindset for conservation and preservation. Recently, I had the pleasure of talking to Dr. Solomon over the University of Malaysia in marine biology. And this is exactly what he's doing, farming of the seas, not just for food, but for energy and for clean water. And that opens up an entirely new concept of preservation, conservation, and proper use of our oceans. Here's an excerpt from a video he sent me on what he's doing on farming and conservation. Water is life. Everything is created or made from water. This planet is covered by 70% of water. 69% of this is the ocean and 1% is fresh water, which is also very competitive. The United Nations also has recently declared the ocean as one of the pillars of sustainable development. All of these make the use of water resources and farming the sea very, very important. Our project focuses on developing technology, reliable technology to facilitate sustainable farming of the sea. For fish, for seaweed, for energy, and systematic sinking of carbon to mitigate climate change, as well as filtering of water to balance the nutrients in the water to maintain clean water for everyone. Likewise, farming the sea also required the use of multipurpose vessels. And that is where the use of multipurpose vessel, down multipurpose vessel, is very, very important for sea farming and for use in ocean farming. Integrated approach to ocean farming is key to make it uh, profitable, beneficial, as well as uh, open door for land-based company to adapt their technology for sea farming, as well as uh, creating jobs for many people. We have very strong industrial collaborations and academic collaborations. And we have done a lot of uh, first principle design work as well as testing of the system in a laboratory 
to know the power of the waves that will be able to maintain station keeping for the system. And we are also working to integrate the system with several ecological models to make sure that in the future, in the farming of the sea, less fertilizer will be used, no fertilizer will be used. Thank you, Dr. Solomon, for your visions and efforts and for helping to make our oceans safe and productive. If you'd like to learn more on how you can make our oceans sustainable, contact us at our website, sustainableseafoodexperience.com. We'd love to hear from you. For Sustainable Seafood Experience, I'm Kimberly Ray, and we'll see you in our next episode. And remember, we're here to make a difference. <laughs>